morning. This is Linda with Chuck and Linda and Why Not Wonder. It's about six o'clock in the morning. And I know Chuck will give you more on this later. We're boondocking tonight. We're in Lincoln. And there, as you see, is the Walmart. And uh, when we pulled in, there was one motorhome over there. And um, the parking lot's not very level and not very big. And on my All Stays app, it did say that that Walmart was good to stay at. But right over here next door is the Sam's Club. And see that back there. And when we first got here, there was this motorhome right there was parked over there in Walmart in the one level spot there was. And we came over here. I always like to be close to grass so I can get the Motley crew out. But then this morning I woke up and look, here's another one. Safety in numbers. Everybody came over here. They moved. We're here and now all three of us are here. And uh, I just thought that was kind of neat. I'm sure Chuck will give you a better view. This is a pretty good area. There's a Sam's Club gas station right there that's got some diesel fuel. We'll probably gas up. We went over there and walked around yesterday to kind of see the layout. So we'll be able to get in and out. So we'll gas up there. And then we are set to see, um, planning on seeing Chuck's oldest son while we're here. And then we'll be heading down to Arkansas. But I am quite sure there's Jasper over there nosing around. I've got Lily here on the leash. Cooper and Sparky are my sleepy heads. And uh, I just thought I'd get you out and show you that. I thought it was kind of interesting that all three of us stayed in the same area. All right, we'll talk to you all later. Hey, folks. This is Chuck. Why not wander? Good morning. Linda was out a little bit earlier. Just had a little video. I'm getting the Muttley crew out here. Cooper, Lily, Sparky. Jasper's already in the grass over there, sniffing something. Don't know what it is about dogs. I gotta sniff everything within a mile. You wanna grab some bags? So, anyway, we are in the Sam's Club parking lot. We're in Lincoln, Nebraska. Actually, we're in the, yeah, Sam's Club parking lot, next to Walmart, as Linda mentioned. Lincoln, Nebraska, now this is the Sam's Club Walmart combo on North 27th Street in Lincoln. See a huge grain elevator down there. I believe that's along the railroad tracks cutting through Lincoln. But uh, I'm just going to do a little walk around to the RV here. Now the uh, Sam's Club gas station over here. These pumps straight out from me do have diesel. It's kind of a circle drive. Now you see the do not enter signs over there if you can see it there are do not enter signs the closest drive the farthest drive gas station entrance you go in you circle around and come back this way there is not an entry off 27th street or 27th avenue whichever it is over there there's mcdonald's over there though but uh, we're thinking uh, with a wide turn over there and uh, wide turn on the pump, we'll be able to get in and out of there, get some diesel in the rig pretty easy. It's uh, member price diesel, 226 a gallon right now. It is the 4th of July. This video will probably get up before some of them I've already recorded, just because. Independence Day, or, you know, if it's a little while before I get it up, you'll understand what happened. With the wedding and everything last week, uh, I shot some videos of that for the family and I'm just a little bit behind on editing which isn't anything unusual for me but I am going to note right here in the Sam's Club parking lot over across the way in the high V parking lot a couple fireworks stands we had fireworks going on about half the night about 11 o'clock they did quiet down considerably and I'm sure by 12 o'clock they probably have an ordinance but uh, Got the kayaks all strapped down, good and secure, top of the truck. Everything's looking good, hitch-wise, tire-wise, RV-wise. Nothing's coming apart, falling off. But anyway, we're going to get wrapped up and get on the road. We're headed for Arkansas. Going to spend most of our day traveling. Probably, uh, well, we'll stop somewhere on the way. I get a two-day trip. There's no point in rushing. So, a little exercise for the pets, for myself and Miss Linda. 
nice beautiful day for a fourth of july just a little bit of breeze not a cloud in the sky maybe it won't get rained out the other... oh. okay come on sparky let's go this way let's go this way sparky come on a little sparky action here come on sparky huh he's an old dog but he's still pretty active I've had him for about 10 years, got him the animal shelter in Cheyenne. Don't know his age for sure. He's getting kind of gray. Been a good dog, still is. This Linda's got the other three over there. Sparky tends to get oblivious to traffic sometimes. When we're all out together, more concerned with what we're doing than what somebody else might do. Don't think he grasps the concept of getting run over. I'm not sure any of them do. Maybe we're overprotective. But... Lily would like to, like to run more than we can allow. But she won't come when she's called. To go find somebody else looking for attention. Cooper sometimes will stay, sometimes will run. We don't know what he's looking for, but we can usually catch up to him when he finds something to smell. But there have been times we've had a hard time finding him. Jasper's probably the safest of the all because Jasper's probably the safest of them all because he never wants to be too far away from Linda. Unless I'm out walking them by her myself, then she'll, then he will sometimes wander away, try and see stuff on his own. But if I call him, he'll head straight for Linda. Come here, Jasper. Come here. And now he's headed for the house. Now we could turn Luke Cooper loose right here. He would also head for the house because his biggest goal in life is to be on that couch as much as possible. Lily likes to chase him when we're on our way back from a walk. If we're around some bushes or anything, grass, she'll lay and wait till he gets close, then try and attack. Now, they're actually best friends, but when we're out walking, she thinks she needs to. Uh, attack him no rhyme to reason but anyway gonna hit the road we'll talk to you again later be safe have a great day